Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and two videos in one day. I know the world must be ending. There's something really weird going on. But I really wanted to try out these new Chaos Giant monsters and just see how good they were. So there are a couple things I learned. Um, they're kind of a waste of time. I would not recommend going there. From what I've been hearing so far, the Dragon Throwing Axe isn't anything special. And they're also very, very, very rare drop from these monsters. I killed them for an hour, and you'll see what loot I got at the end of the video, so don't worry about that. But this is um, near the end of my trip. I just decided to record a few kills so you guys could kind of show kind of see how they are killed. So the monsters um, are very, very straightforward. They don't have any special attacks or anything. However, when you first come in the room, they will all be aggressive, and they do kind of end up doing a lot of damage if a lot of them get on you at once. They use range attacks, and they are weak in melee, so that works out pretty well because you can just use melee armor, which is strong against range, and then attack them against melee. I decided to use Tetsu armor and um, Dragor weapons, which ended up being pretty effective against these monsters. The XP you gain here is decent. It's not the best in the game, and there are definitely better methods to train your melee. However, um, don't feel like it's a huge waste of time when you're going here if you still need to train your melee stats or like getting XP in your melee stats, because you will get a fair amount. I did not test the melee XP per hour, but I'm guessing it's going to be around 250k XP an hour in that range, because uh, they still take a little bit of time to kill, but they give a nice 2.2k XP drop when they are dead. So it's probably going to be right around in the 250k an hour range uh, for combat stats XP wise that is but anyway I was really really hoping that these things were going to be a really good FAG drop when I saw them when I saw they were level 180 and that they were really easy to kill the first thing I thought was effigies but unfortunately that might have been the first thing that Jagex thought as well and decided to either make effigies from these guys extremely rare or make them not drop them at all however I will be do going back and doing a little more testing and if I find out that these guys are an insa insanely good way to get effigies and thus a really good way to train divination I'll let you guys know but um, so far just assume that they're not going to be very good for effigies and we never know Jagex could update these monsters to make them have more reason to actually go there and kill them I have been hearing rumors that the uh, dragon warhammer has a special attack associated with it um, or something along those lines so who knows the dragon throwing axe could have the same thing and thus it would be an actual good place to go and kill them but anyway they're kind of similar to the cyclopses and the warriors guild I kind of saw the comparison there and the drops are also crap like those but anyways I'll show you guys the loot now so here in my inventory are the rewards from the Chaos Giants from one hour of killing them. I will say that I picked up every single drop that looked like it could be worth anything. There was a couple of seeds like Harlander seeds and stuff that I didn't pick up. But anything that would could be worth like 1k or more, um, I did pick up. So this is all that I got in an hour of killing them. I unfortunately did not get any dragon throwing axes and I have no idea how much they sell for. However, I'm guessing that they're probably really, really rare. And... They might be worth killing just to try to get a Dragon Throwing Axe while the item is still new. But other than that, I killed them for one hour and I got about 77k for the loot. So the loot is not very good. The only real reason I could see to kill them is if they drop effigies, they might be a good way to obtain effigies because they are a pretty high combat level and they're also fairly easy to kill. However, um, I didn't get an effigy in an hour so they might not drop them. That, of course, will be confirmed within a couple weeks. But anyway, if they don't drop effigies try to stay your distance not worth going to this monster at all if they do drop effigies and at a very common rate because they are a fairly high combat level it might even be a good way to train divination but only time will tell anyway thanks for watching this video and farewell